listening to the language used, and I will have a few suggestions and a few highlights of some terrific words and language use. So, in our song, we happily sang about a new faith tried in the fire. But do you know what that means? So, like, faith is your trust and confidence in something. And tried is like, is like come, it's like the verb for a trial or a test. And so a tried in the fire means you're being tested by fire, which means a really strong test. So a new faith tried in the fire means you have this very strong faith that has been through these very tough tests. So anyway, next time you sing it, you'll know more. What does that mean exactly? Um, Linda. Your English is always, is you always use very correct English. Sometimes you have a risk of leaving out a verb. Like you'll say, if the contestant over time, if the contestant goes over time. So just sometimes you'll have that little verb. Or you say, see the red board, that's time's up. Really, it's, if you see the red board, that means your time is up. So just kind of, sometimes you'll drop a little verb here and there, just something to look out. Um, Shana, so be careful your speech. Careful is a word that describes an, an, a noun or an action. So it's really more be careful when speaking, um, whereas speech is an object. Um, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, roulette, my <laughs> My analysis will not be beneficial to the Taiwanese audience. It might be helpful to the South African audience. Yi <laughs> Ben Shu is a book. Oh. Ken Yi Sheng is go to the doctor. <laughs> but I don't believe that will be helpful to most of the audience. So I'll move on. I learned a new word, which that word, new word is Jenny. Okay. Um. Let's see. Jenny, in your speech, um, do you believe environment will influence you? Do you believe the environment will influence you? Or do you believe your environment will influence you? So just a little word to do, modify environment. Um, grum he grumbled about his life. This is a wonderful word. If you're grumbling, it's just this kind of complaining and so grumble is a beautiful, wonderful word. Oh wow, it's green already. Vicious circle is also really good. Um, they will gather together to blaming many things. They'll gather together to blame many things on other people or something. It's a little bit more um, modified in the verb. Um, uh, maybe I am too exaggerated to say. Sorry, oh, that was like 17 odds. Um, <laughs> There's another one, Shayna. Maybe I am too exaggerated to say. Or even is actually a better way to say, maybe I am exaggerating when I say. You're not really, I'm not, it's not I am too exaggerating. It's really, I may be exaggerating too much. Uh, all right. Uh, I give up on the odds on this one. I can't look at my notes and not give you a lot of odds. I'm very sorry. Way exercise is the most transformative thing you can do for your venue. That's a great phrase. The most transformative, changing from one form to another form. You say exercise helps you to have a good mood and good energy. Better way to say it is exercise helps you to improve your energy and your mood. Uh, without commitment, you'll never start. Without consistency, you'll never finish. I don't know if you came up with that. If not, if that's if 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 you came up with that, that's brilliant. If you read it, it's still brilliant. Okay. Uh, from Darren, we learned a new phrase, TMD, Postmaster of the Day. 
Thank you. Um, usually our meeting is during the day. I try, he's ready for sunshine. Oh, Linda, how can you? I like Lester's phrase, getting a foundation in Chinese. If to say you have a foundation means you have a good, broad, solid amount that you can do the basics. You could have a foundation in math, a foundation in Chinese, a foundation in chemistry, in just any subject. Thank you.